the Usos, the cousin of the Usos, Jacob Fatu, from MLW, maybe you've seen him. They yeah. kind of doing some good things over there with the country unit. But I think it was yesterday, maybe. Um, in the PCW Ultra, I guess it was a pay per view or an event. A fan jumped over the barricade. Got Spe- the hell beat out of. Yes, Jacob <laughs> Fatu was not playing. <laughs> Caught him with their right hand. And you seen him like fall down and then like he got up and he thought about it, like, wait a minute, my I'm still woozy. And fell right back down and Fatu walked over there and gave him where you see the vid at, so I need to watch it. It was on wrestling zone. Oh. And then all oh, you can go to the Usos because they tweeted out about it. Man, beat the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, Yo, that dude had been antagonizing him. The whole fight, and then he hopped over the barricade, and I said, "You know what? I've been seeing this shit a a lot lately in wrestling news and stuff about fans just being terrible." Cause remember, we talked about the Bullet Ray thing at the ring on the pay per view. Then a couple of days later, they were like, "Yo, Taya got into it with a fan at an Impact taping with a dude spit on Taya." Nasty. And that, that's that one thing I can't stand it. Somebody who think they supposed to spit on somebody, man. Yeah, and they were like, okay, y'all fans are really getting brazen out here. Yeah, and get they ass, we better go watch that Triple H and Stone Cold. But no, I, yeah, I was finna go to that too. I said, yo, and then it seemed like that what they starting to go back to because I really haven't been, like, now I did see that a couple years back with Roman when somebody dived in the ring on Roman and they didn't beat him up. And then they threw a damn uh, briefcase when the money in the back, money in the bank briefcase and, and hit him. And they didn't do anything. But Roman looked scared as hell that time. But probably because the WWE told him not to do anything. Now, if, if now like I said, PCW is like an independent thing. So, they probably looking at it and told them, Russell, look, if a fan tries some shit, you beat the fuck out of them. But in the WWE, they probably tell you, now, I could say that, but then I had to think about Randy one time. One time a fan walked in, and I think it was on TV, walked See, in on not, not. Too recently, you remember at Russell No, Manny? but that, but that was di- they. There's also that was different. That was it. That one in the ring. That was at a Hall of Fame. In the ring. And that was a. I don't know what the hell that was. It went like this. But I like with Randy. Somebody hopped in there with Randy, and I remember them taking the dude out, and Randy, Randy gave him a little kick. But I said it wasn't then like that Triple H. Now I think if. Cause I'm mean, funny because I remember fan going that Stone Cold talking about how they could have killed that dude and stuff like that. And then like, why would you happen to ring with a trained professional? You wouldn't happen a boxing ring with Floyd Mayweather or Mike Tyson. You wouldn't happen to hop the gun with Rampage Jackson or some of these people. So why do you think you both hop in a wrestling ring with Stone Cold, Triple H, and some of these people? You don't. You sit your ass at attendance and have fun. Stop trying to be a part of the show. And that what that dude got. He got yeah. the hell whooped out of fuck. But that dude probably been happy he got his ass whooped. He still didn't take an ass whooping worse than that goddamn, uh, what his name is? New Jack gave that little 16-year-old boy that time in New York. Well, that, what, but that, but that. See, New Jack probably should have went to jail for that shit. But I thought that supposed to been like a sanctioned match. It went like he jumped the hard guard rail and he was a, and he was a fan, but he also yeah, signed but, on to be a match. So yeah, but that New Jack wasn't wrestling that dude. He was really fighting that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was really fighting. That I dude. can understand that dude ain't got no type of goddamn wrestling credentials. He just came right out of. You don't want to do what New Jack shit. did to that damn man. A it's shit. a damn shame, man. A shit. And still to this day, New Jack a be walking shit. around laughing about that shit. That shit ain't a funny. Shit. Now you could have, you could have gave me that malice in the palace. With Ron, I touched him, and I probably been like, okay, I can understand that. No, nah, them folks out there deserve everything they got. I can uh, see one of no, not one of all of them. Which one then? The one Jermaine on their cup? Yeah. No, nah, he deserved it. Shouldn't have been on he, the floor. He he didn't deserve that. <laughs> now the other two, he shouldn't have been on the floor, man. Now the other two, you can say they deserved it because Ron Artest. Those were the two dudes who possibly threw something at Ron Artest, and Ron Artest didn't really know who did it. But Stephen Jackson seemed like, nah, I knew who did it. So you understand him. But my that my thing like if you like I don't mm, the that's why I said I think that after that thing was you would think they would have learned from that though because like you said in that thing with Bret Hart 
if you catch the back end of it and you listen to what some of them wrestling wrestlers had been saying and know when they caught him in the ring, they were beating his head in. Yeah. But then afterward, like you seen Dad Wilder catching with that right hand and you think some fan would be like, No, that ain't happening now catching no ass. But then you also gotta think about it. There's some people out here who are are a drilling junkies who get off on that. Who Probably in the next couple of days, we'll put up a picture like, hey, man, you seen something that punch me? I'm not one of those. Yeah. I'm going to sit my ass on the sideline, eat my popcorn and nacho Cheetos and having a good time. These fans out here, stop hopping these guardrails, getting your ass whooped by Russell. No, hey, you don't because I enjoy shit like that. But that's what I said, though. I, I feel like they do that because <laughs> in the WWE, that you don't hear about that in the WWE. You don't hear about people like can I, I actually do believe that because you know you had the stories about Billy Ray starting rides and shit with fans and I'm pre- in ECW and I'm pretty sure they were Bully. Beating the, pretty sure they were beating the hell out of them fans but you know shit like after that Stone Cold I think they might have told them like yo if a fan hopped a guardrail or something let the security guard deal with it but I ain't trying to do that if I, if I, if I was a wrestler and somebody hopped a guardrail that's the first I might kill somebody. I might pull a Deontay Wilder. I'm trying to DDT you right on your head. Power driver one on. Yeah. All right, people. Hit that like button. Subscribe.